All right, guys, we have arrived at the clinic, but unfortunately, it is a doctor's office and no cameras in the doctor's office, but I'll try to sneak some phone footage. Let's go get this DECA scan done. Okay, the results are in. But let's go somewhere more quiet so you can actually hear me talk about it. It's actually pretty interesting and I learned a lot more than I thought. The results, I am 16.2% body fat, carrying a total of 164.19 pounds of lean mass, 31.80 pounds of fat mass, and a total mass of 205.06. If you can see here, this is my body. That's all muscle tissue, the dark, the orangeness, the darker yellow, and then the light yellow, that is fat. I carry mostly all of my fat in the hips. The hips don't lie. My resting metabolic rate, which is 1,961 calories a day. That's just to be alive. That's how much I need to consume just to be like, same weight, not progress, not lose weight. Nothing, so that's pretty solid. As you can see from my bone density, my hips and my knees and my shoulders and my uh, like joints here, the density is high. You know why? From squatting, from lifting weight. That That is literally like the reason why. Otherwise, it wouldn't be that way. So, moral of the story, lift heavy weight and you'll grow your bone density. All right, I'm hungry because I haven't eaten anything today because I did this fasted. Let's go eat. Deer meat, deer meat. I love deer meat. Look at that. Do you think I can consume it all? Find out in the next clip. Well, would you look at that? I actually did eat it all. Of course I did, dude. Gains. Deer meat is so lean. I recommend anyone to get venison if they can. If you can't kill it on your own, get someone like I did to kill one for you and then forcefully take the meat from, I didn't forcefully get them, just kidding. But ask them for some meat, dude. It is life changing. And it's, for me it was free. Could be free for you too. Alex has never had the mocha pot, so I'm gonna make him it without a cool edit just because every video I've made has had a coffee in it. But yeah, let, let's see if he likes it. This is either one of the dumbest or one of the smartest things I've done. So this, oh, I gotta put the, where are the cups? Okay, I gotta put the cups there. It just spews, that's why there's stuff all in here is from the coffee just spewing out of this mocha pot. So he's putting the paper towels. Is that gonna catch on fire? I think it would have caught on fire by, by now. But you'll see that it just picks up the coffee rather than it's spilling everywhere. All right, see, it's coming out. Did you see the spillage over there? It's not that bad, but I, it, it helps. Cheers. Delicious. Is it good? Sydney has broccoli sprouts. Why do you have broccoli sprouts? To add some texture. Because we care about our health. So we're gonna grow some. Yeah. Uh, these are actually alfalfa. We're gonna turn into horse and horses and grow it. I guess what you do is you just, you put it in the mason jar. Do you put it with a napkin or something? Um, no, so what you're gonna do, we're gonna put the sprouts in and then just um, dump this whole bag in. And then we're just gonna cover the bottom just like slightly with water. And then we just put this lid on. And then leave it out of direct sunlight for a day and then dump out the water and then put a little more in and then dump out. So we just wanna make sure that the sprouts are moist throughout the process, but not like soaking wet once the, after the first day. Sprouts. Sprout chip. What are we doing? We're making more coffee, because it's time for more coffee. Yes. Because we don't have a problem. Do you have a problem? I don't have a problem. We're doing a Chemex this time. We're gonna make this. What is it? 
Never settle for good enough. You know, it doesn't say on the actual copy what it is. I just like that. You really didn't think we were gonna make a cool little coffee scene, right? You're wrong, of course we were. Also, that coffee I had made was for Alex. It's not for me. I know I made coffee twice already. Maybe I just like coffee. Maybe I just like coffee. Good coffee too. So, far away from the entrance. Today's one of those days where I'm just not feeling the gym, but that's okay. It's a lightish leg day because on Friday in two days, we have a huge deadlift day. Let's go hit legs. I keep making the mistake of wearing Hocus to the gym. I'm not meaning to do that, hey, especially on leg day. But we got the Smith machine yet again. It is game. We got it for squats today. A crisp four sets of probably about eight to 10 reps, medium to heavy weight. The shoes are coming back on. That can only mean one thing. The most important leg group, calves now. And that is a wrap on leg day. See, light and easy squeezing. I want to emphasize too, when you do those leg extensions, that's an airplane, hold up. We're right next to an airport. So when you're doing those leg extensions, just squeeze at the top. Squeeze at the top. All right, I gotta get some groceries. Back to my second home yet again, Kroger. I swear, I come here almost every day. Every single day. I am strong. I will get all the groceries in one trip. That's why I go to the gym, right? Carry in all the groceries in one trip. Let's go. So here are the greens, or the alfalfa seeds. Looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. I'm gonna end this video here. Like, subscribe, and share the video. See you tomorrow, bye.